Hi and welcome to the video tour for the three bedroom property on Wells Way in Camberwell. So it is a lovely quiet street, end of terrace house which is typically a little bit larger. It's very close to Burgess Park and also pretty much a short walk away from Bellenden Road. So let's have a look at the outside first. On Wells Way. So this here is your little sort of front garden space, mainly to um you could park a car on here or have some really nice planters like they do. So you can actually fit a car on here if you were to move that planter there. So it's just extra space. So these surrounding roads here, they're all permitted. So you do get a permit. You have to pay for the permit for the road, but then you get a booklet of um, permits for when guests come and stuff like that. So this is the front entrance here. And if you go a little bit down the side, you also see the side entrance which goes straight into the garden and then this garage door goes into the garden so if you were wanting to you could technically park a car in your in your garden but it's perfect to bring bikes in or any other such items like that so it is an end of terrace and end of terrace are typically bigger than um mid terrace so yeah here's the front door and let's go ahead and look in the first floor so entering the property you have a nice little hallway section here which is perfect this is an under the stairs storage cupboard which is quite large you have a staircase here now if you go to your left you see another cupboard there and you walk through into the kitchen dining space it's a really lovely large kitchen space and super bright it gets loads of light from the garden so let me give you another angle so this is the kitchen, through there is where we came in, and over there to the end of the property is where the living space is. So yeah, it is a really, really lovely kitchen space. Give you another quick look. And it's super private as well around here. You don't really have anyone looking into your garden. So if we step out in the garden, this is AstroTurf. And if you see, there's no one really looking into your property. So it is a really lovely private garden. So this door here is the door back outside onto the road. So the other side entrance I'm speaking to you about. Then this here is the garage door. So technically you could still have a small gar garden here and park a car here. Then you do also have a shed. The shed has electricity mains into it, so you can get electricity and light out there, which is perfect. But yeah, let me give you another view of the garden. So yeah, it's super, super private. That's the permitted road here, and it's super quiet. You don't get many cars coming along that road. So yeah, if we head back in to the kitchen, I'll give you one last look here of the garden. So from the kitchen window, you're looking straight into your garden, which is just a really lovely, quiet, serene garden. Around here, you get quite a lot of wildlife because the gardens of those properties over there, they all back onto each other. So it's almost like a little field. So they get loads of birds and so you can hear them over in these gardens. So yeah, if we follow back down here, this is the front door where we came into the property and the cabinet I was speaking to you about. So if we follow through to here, so this is like a nice connecting room which connects you to the living room. It could be a great office space or also you could use it more as a storage space. They have it set up currently. It's like a little music room, which is really lovely. And then just here is where the downstairs bathroom is. So if you come in here, there's the toilet and the boiler, which is a combi boiler, which was recently installed. So the bathroom, the sink, and then coming back out into the middle room or connecting room. And then if you come further down here, you have the lounge, which looks out onto the little front porch space which is where you could technically park a car or just sort of a continuation of your garden so yeah this is the lounge space which is really lovely so this has 
two quite large two-seater sofas in it and you still have loads and loads of room if I stand by the door you can see here how much space you do have you have a lovely fireplace there on top of it you have a tv mounted so there is lots and lots of space for storage here and also just um for furniture it's got lots of lovely high ceilings and also just lots of space so yeah if we walk back through to the middle room then we have the bathroom the downstairs loo and then further along here the staircase going upstairs and then the kitchen and garden so let us head up stairs so if we head up the stairs here we get to the first floor of the property which has all the bedrooms so it's a lovely bright hallway up here if we go this way there's the family bathroom so it's got a bath shower and obviously the toilet and the sink which is amazing it's set on like wood it's so beautiful and the amazing thing about this bathroom is it actually has underfloor heating so when you get out of the bath or the shower your feet don't have to be cold which is perfect it's a lovely little addition to have because it can be quite expensive to fit in, so you've already got that sorted. Then if you come down here, this is the second bedroom. So it looks out onto the garden, as you can see down here. So it's got loads of space. If you see, it's got a nice big wardrobe in it, shelving units, and then another shelving unit here. Yet you still have enough space to walk around and it's got a quite a large double bed. So you do have quite a lot of space in this room. So it's a perfect either kid's bedroom or if you're buying it um, to rent out a second bedroom, it would be perfect because there's no compromising. Then if you come down the hallway, so you can see outside onto the road. Once again, this is onto Dowler Street, which is a permitted road. It's really quiet. It's not a through road either. So it's a super quiet street. It's all new double glazing as well. You come along here, you can see the hatch for the main loft. And then just further down there, that's the other hatch for the loft. So you do have two access points for the two lofts. Up here, it's got lovely high ceilings, so there would be a potential potentially to convert that into a bedroom. It's already plastered and got electricity up there, so you just have to get planning permission to put in a staircase. So that could be um, a really quick fourth bedroom, which would be perfect. Then coming in here, this is um, a guest bedroom, which has a lovely, beautiful double bed in here has a nice it really private rooms no one's looking onto them which is really nice so that back bedroom's looking out into the garden this bedroom there's no real windows looking into the bedroom so it's quite really private and this room is quite large you could put here you could put potential cupboard doors on here because these chimney breasts are a lot deeper than they look so you'd have a lovely built-in wardrobe there and then you've still got loads of room for a double bed and bedside tables if you wanted to so yeah, this here is the guest bedroom. Then this leads back out into the hallway. Let me just give you another view of the guest bedroom. Then coming in here, this is the master bedroom with the bay window. So this is such a large room and it gets so much sunlight because it's at the front of the house. It's such a beautiful room with the bay windows. All of the windows here are also double glazing. But yeah, it's just such a lovely size room and the high ceilings continue upstairs. So it's not like you're having to compromise upstairs, nice high ceilings downstairs and then compromising upstairs. So yeah, no, it is. It's a lovely master bedroom. You get loads and loads of sunlight through this window. And then down there is the little front area where you could park your car again or um, plant some flowers. And then that's Wellsway Street. 
so it is quite a quiet street and you don't hear much from the because you have double glazing so it is a beautiful front bedroom to have so yeah if we just walk back through so this is the master bedroom the main loft section then the third bedroom or a guest bedroom then coming down here we have a few little steps and it comes down to where you come up on the staircase and then the family bathroom and the second bedroom which looks out onto the garden so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video tour and if you are interested let me know and we could potentially arrange you for a physical viewing so yeah as we close the door on this video tour i hope it helped you gain a sense of what this property looks like and if you have any questions or if you do want to arrange a viewing please feel free to contact us the details will be in the description